Hello friends, welcome to It's About Everything. Today I'm going to show you how you can salvage the powerful magnets from a microwave magnetron. About a year ago I replaced the magnetron in our microwave oven. I did not throw it away because it has two powerful magnets that I can use in some future projects. Well I guess today is the day I will use it. The magnetron is the heart of the microwave and I believe permanent magnets are used to direct the wave towards the front of the magnetron and that's why the magnets are enclosed inside and around the wave generating tube. The most important part to open first is the top metal plate. After that everything is nice and easy. This plate is not welded but clamped with the rest of the body. And so I need to open the clamps very carefully without damaging the ceramic insulator. Few important things that I would like to mention about dismantling a microwave magnetron is the danger with the ceramic insulator on the tip. If it's made of beryllium oxide, then it's a poisonous substance, but if it's made of aluminium oxide, then it's safe. However, if beryllium oxide insulator is not damaged or breaks, then it is safe as beryllium oxide dust is harmful and can cause some serious lung diseases. I don't know what kind of insulator is there, so I'll be more careful while opening it and not do any damage to the ceramic insulator in the tip as well as the bottom. After the top plate is removed, you will see a wire mesh gasket. Right underneath it, you will see a wash. Remove it carefully and you will be able to remove the first magnet. After that, let's move to the bottom part. To pull out the wave generator tube, I need to cut the electrical contacts from inside the socket. In order to do that, I need to open up the metal casing and cut the wires with a wire cutter. This should release the wave generator tube and the only thing that's holding it together is the magnetic field. Just give it a slight tug and it should pop out and you will get the second magnet. And that's how you get a perfectly good magnet from a microwave magnetron. As always, please like and share this video and if you are new, subscribe as well. In my next video, I am going to use these magnets and an armature to make a DC motor. So stay tuned and have a good day.